my name is Raymond Hayes and I would like to speak to you on the quinceanera and the, on the quinceanera and the Latin cultures. Today I will inform you the tradition, the ceremony, and the actual celebration of the quinceanera. This, I've been to a couple of quinceaneras in my life. Um, the last one I went to was about, I'd say, four months ago in Brazil. And it was one of my distant cousins. I didn't know her that well. But it was very interesting. There were, I mean, they rented out a huge ballroom. Uh, there were many people there, her relatives, her friends, close, really close friends, uh, cousins. I mean, everything. All, all, her, all the people who are close to her were there. There were, uh, they, during the party, <clears throat> they had music playing the whole time up on the big screen. They put uh, pictures of her when she, you know, first began her life as a child, all the way up until the point of her turning 15, which was the whole point of her party that day. The tradition of the quinceanera, it, it's in most Latin cult, uh, countries, cultures, you would say. It's it, the meaning of the quinceanera. It comes from the quince años. The quince is 15 and the años is years old, which is the day she's completing 15 years old. The, the quinceanera is her, is talking, is, the party is talking about, not talking about, it is, I wish I could put this right. It's her journey from childhood to maturity. It's when she completes 15 and she takes the responsibility of a woman and such as work, uh, volunteerism, and marriage. All the way back uh, to the Aztecs time when a girl would complete the age of 15, she, they usually married. If they did not marry, they had to stay at home and take care of their parents up until they did get married. If they didn't get married, they would have to stay at home and just take care of their parents for as, as I mean as long as they, they lived. <coughs> the quinceanera ceremony is a very beautiful thing. Uh, the Latin cultures they make it a very um, I'd say a very eye-opening uh, experience for, for the girl and for, for everyone who was there. Um, it is, uh, the quinceanera ceremony is very cultural. It goes all the way from back, like I mentioned the Aztecs before, all the way back in the Aztecs time. And what the Aztecs celebrated it when, as I said, when the girl would complete 15 going into adulthood. But when Mexico takes over the Aztecs, they convert them to Christianity, and they bring it not only culturally, but also religiously. And then this is, uh, religiously, I mean, the priest would administer a sacrament, or a pastor would lay hands on her as she was at the quinceanera, and she would kneel down on a prayer pillow, and he would pray for her, and I guess he would say give her a blessing. <clears throat> the party, the quinceanera party, <clears throat> consists of the guests. The guests are made up of the relatives, the friends close friends, uh, I mean even distant family, um, just everyone is there, it's, it's a very big deal. In the beginning of, of the, in the beginning of the party, the, the girl, when I, the one that I went, the kids that I went to, the girl was at the front and as the people walked into the party they would greet her, they would congratulate her. And as the party goes on, she, when the when the ceremony, excuse me, when the ceremony starts, 
she will <coughs> she will walk in with a with a bear and her father will also walk in and he will exchange the bear, take the bear from her and give her roses. Or she will be wearing flat shoes and she would walk and he would take off the flat the flats and put on her and put on high heels, showing that she is leaving the the age of child of childhood into maturity, and becoming a woman and taking on the more responsibilities that a woman will take. After the dad, after the dad does all this and takes that and in a way kind of lets her go and become an adult, he will dance with her in a waltz or. <laughs> on the waltz, and, and afterwards, the uncles and the cousins, her, the siblings will come and dance with her, but only only the males will come and dance with her. And in in the in in the for the kitchen of the ceremony, that is a that is an honor to be able to dance with her. The ceremonial dress plays a big part in 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 the kitchen uh, party. It uh. It's it's you was used to be just white like a uh, a gown like a ballroom gown, like a very pretty uh, kind of how would I say this kind of a a a be a very beautiful dress. Um, now it's not so much they don't only use white they use very bright colors, very pretty. I mean just. Really, uh, attention getting, I would say. Um, for the ceremony, she has, as I mentioned before, she has the prayer pillow, which is just a pillow that she has to kneel on. It usually has, they usually decorate it, and many times they'll put her name on it, so she can, you know, keep it for forever and so that she can always remember. And that's what she kneels on when the pastor or the priest will will pray for her. She also wears a tiara showing that that day is her day and that I mean and that she is that she is a, a a princess, I guess you would say. And she also when she walks in she wears a cross or carries a scepter with her. And that is showing, that is letting everybody know, see her, and putting her sort of in the spotlight and, sh and letting everyone know that that is her day. So today, I spoke to you on the quinceanera and uh, what, what the party, the ceremony, it all consisted of the tradition of the quinceanera, what, what the quinceanera meant, Which was the quince, which was the fifteen, and the años, which was the fifteen years, which was the years old. So it was fifteen years old. The responsibility at age fifteen, when she would have to work, get married, or volunteerism. And I <clears throat> read this from the book uh, "The Cultures of the World" from Mary Jo Riley, and also the quinceanera ceremony was talked about the culture and the way it religiously, the way the, it, the cultures and the, re, the religion kind of mesh together. And the guests, dress, and the important things that made up of the ceremony, which was the friends, the dress, and the scepter, and the tiara, and the prayer pillow, which was very important. All this comes to <coughs> was the main thing for the <coughs> quinceanera. And I read about this, the ceremonial dress, the prayer pill of the tarot, on the quinceanera slash boutique.com. It's a very good, a very good source to, to look at and, and get more information about it. And so I hope you all today learn more and know more about the quinceanera party. Thank you for